she died after she and her boyfriend were making love in a bush and a lion pounced on them. And <laughs> that's not sex's fault. <laughs> It's not, it's not. But you're distracted though. Like you just, Yes, you are. And sadly, she was mauled to death by the lion. Her boyfriend managed to escape and he's he apparently is running down the road with only a condom on. That's not sex's fault. She didn't <laughs> die from the sex. She died from the lion. She was not she was not primed to defend herself from the lion, is it? No, she wasn't. But a dude having a heart attack while ejaculating is not the same as a woman who is having a root. And then a lion killed her. <laughs> I feel like there are some differences. Oh, I'm I'm so sorry, Shirai. So I love the phrase. They made them different back then. You know. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah. They made cars different back then. You know yeah. they were tougher and harder and shit. They like made that. sandwiches different back then. They made sandwiches different. I don't know if they did footwear. Footwear. They made Hats. footwear different back then. All sorts of things. All sorts of things. Computers. Attitudes. They, they made attitudes different That's back true. then. That's true. That's true. But you know what? One thing they absolutely 100% made different back then? Popes. Popes. <laughs> popes were so freaking different. Okay. John the Twelfth, for example. He's a pretty good example of a different sort of pope. He was born with the glorious name of Octavian. He ruled as pope from December 955. Mm-hmm to May 964. So he made nine years as Pope. Um, So about a thousand years ago. How he got the job is the first weird thing about him. Like, long story short, um, his dad, Alberic II, was the self-styled Prince of Rome at the time. My 16-year-old, he needs a job. He needs a job. And um, What do you got? (laughs) You got 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 anything like in 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 a coffee house? You got anything maybe killing some animals? You got a Pope? Dad, the Pope. (laughs) He got like an apprenticeship sort of thing to <laughs> become the Pope. And when and when the previous Pope died, 17-year-old Octavian uh, landed the boss as the supreme leader of the Catholic Church. I, I feel like as a 17-year-old, were it me, <laughs> it might go to my head. <laughs> <laughs> so I that's agree. one of the first things that is very different about being Pope in 955. The second thing that was very different uh, for John the Twelfth yeah. in 952, he was a fighting pope. Um, Fuck yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't believe in Jesus. I'll kick your ass. Like True. he's riding out in Italy, head of the army, and he's going to fight people, which is again a thing that you don't see the popes doing very much. Not as often. Give it time, though. The war in Ukraine and stuff. You never know. But the third thing about John the Twelfth mm. that made him not like the popes of today mm. is that he was what's called in the parlance of the time a worldly guy. So what he had ideas and knowledge? Uh, no. <laughs> or he'd had a lot of the intercourses. Yeah. Right. And they called it worldly. Like as in he was, you know, you could have the the spiritual aspect or the worldly aspect. Oh, not worldly as in well traveled, no. worldly as in connected to this mortal coil, this, yes. this physical realm. The, the physical, the connected very physical. To the pain. Uh connected right to the pain. Right. Uh interested of things in the world rather than things of the soul. They used a bunch 17. of other They used a bunch of other words to describe him. Sensual. Sensual. Adulterous. Ooh. Depraved. Um <laughs> You're a powerful man, or boy, t- t- man child, and you've got lots of money and you're living in the middle of Rome. You're going to be banging. That's you're what going to be banging. That, that's what he's doing. You know, they testified about his adultery, which mm. they did not see with their own eyes, but nonetheless knew with certainty. He had fornicated with the widow of Rainier, mm-hmm. with Stefana, his father's concubine, with the widow Anna, and with his own niece, and he made the sacred palace into a whorehouse. This is all at the same time, I assume? He Probably. seems like a one-of-the-time guy. but uh, Oh, he was a moral fornicating <laughs> adulterer. But, okay, here's the thing. It's not it's not the fucking that uh, brought John the Twelfth to my attention. Instead, <laughs> instead, it's uh, the fucking plus other, and that other being his death. Either John the Twelfth died of a stroke, mm-hmm. or was beaten to death with a hammer, or was Ooh. thrown out of the window by the husband of the woman that he was fucking. And there's 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 drawings of this. Obviously not live drawings, but there's a drawing of here's the Pope. <laughs> not like a quest going, going out the window and there's the there's the husband and there's the nude lady. To, to uh, be fair, I could draw anything too. <laughs> it's not evidence, but but all the stories point to the fact Truthiness. That it he feels di- right. he died while on the job. And uh, oh, I'm proud and that's young, what well I want done. to explore today. Well done, young. The man. history, the stories and the science of dying while on the job. Thank you. 
So there's a whole bunch of euphemisms for death during sex. Uh, really? You'd be surprised. I'm shocked. Dying in the saddle, uh, dying on the job, obviously, mm. is, is what I just said. Mm. The French have la mort d'amour. Oh, the death of love. The, the death love of death. love. They also, you know, you know, they they call they call the orgasm the little death. They, they, they do. They, then they, they do. call dying while having sex the big death as well, <laughs> like la, la grand mort. Like it's like it's a play on that as well, which I like. It's like <sighs> orgasm is the little death, and if you die having sex, that's the big death. So it's weirdly specific, very <laughs> focused, I'm, and weirdly French as well, as I'll come to in a little bit. Okay. So um, I do like weird French shit. Now, how common is it? Eleven. Eleven out of what? Mm, more than eleven. <laughs> Uh, so there's a bunch of stu- studies. Um, so first off, this is uh, the German jo- Journal of Cardiology with a K. They reported on um, a whole bunch of autopsies at the University Hospital in Frankfurt, mm-hmm. um, 21,000 autopsies, and they found 39 cases. Not a lot. So not Point a lot. Of- zero, zero, whatever. Well, there were some unnatural deaths in there. So uh, <laughs> no, no, no. I mean like um, you know, a car crash. Oh, um, not murders, the, murders. the nature of the sex wasn't unnatural. No, it's not. It's not twenty one. No. So they said. They said. Look, it looks to be about point two percent of natural deaths. Oh, 0.2? Yeah, one in five hundred. Another way of looking at it is not natural deaths, but sudden deaths. Okay. So, so that takes away the stuff that you can see in advance. You know, like long cancers and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So, so you're looking. Yeah, you know, this includes stuff like car crashes, but you're looking at everyday uh, healthy human beings suddenly dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So not not no things that you suspect. No reason to suspect. Okay. Point six percent. So again, not not no chance, but it's it's you know it's like one in two hundred sort you're of thing. Getting scarier. So, what types of people would you guess are those that are dying? On the job. Okay, I assume it's more men than women. Yes. Okay. So the first German study that I talked about, mm. they found ninety five percent of it was men. Ninety five. Like as I said, Pope John the the twelfth before, or former Australian Prime Minister Billy Snedden. Fuck yeah, he did. I know, right? But the police found him. Uh, Snedden was found wearing a condom, and that it was loaded with was- what semen. He he had he had ejaculated. Who's another famous old man? What died of uh, in the moment of sex? Okay, uh, Nelson Rockefeller, uh, one of Nixon's oh. vice presidents, age seventy nine. Uh, okay. This is a couple of years, not long after being vice president. So this was in early early nineteen seventies, about nineteen seventy three. That's old. Uh, he'd been working late on a Saturday night on a project <laughs> with his twenty five year old research assistant. Got a uh, got another project. Really? Uh, and uh, twenty five, and he's seventy nine. Yeah, and he had a heart attack caused by orgasm, and apparently she was pinned under his hefty body for several minutes before she could phone paramedics. Oh Christ! Um, New York magazine. Nelson thought he was coming, but he was going. <laughs> I see what they did there. <laughs> but not only men. Mm. So oh. of the people that died during sex, yeah, sixty five percent men. Um, okay. This is from My Zimbabwe. Um, My Zimbabwe? Uh, her what? name was um, Sharai Mawira. Um, yeah. She died after she and her boyfriend were making love in a bush and a lion pounced on them. And <laughs> That's not sex's fault. <laughs> it's not. It's not. But you're distracted, though. Like you just, Yes, you are. And sadly, she was mauled to death by the lion. Her boyfriend managed to escape, and he's he apparently is running down the road with only a condom on. That's not sex's fault. She didn't die from the sex. She died from the lion. She was not. She was not primed to defend herself from the lion. Is no, she wasn't. But a dude having a heart attack while ejaculating is not the same as a woman who is having a root, and then a lion killed her. I feel like there are some differences. Oh, I'm. I'm so sorry, Shirai. Apparently, there were like seven lions. Um, in what? one story. Now, I don't know how verifiable the media is on this thing. How many um, do you need? Look, one, I don't want to fight one line. I, 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 don't one want, I don't want to be nude fighting one line. I don't want to be having had sex very recently and fighting. It's fair to say, by the time I'm fighting a lion, I don't care if I'm wearing pants. <laughs> I do. You know that study? There's, there's, there's a study that shows, and this is it seems sexist, but I'm sure it, it parallels a little bit. A lot of studies and, are. And yep. it seems very 90s sexist. This is this mm. is the sort of um, the Paris Hilton era of psychology. Mm. They did versions of IQ tests yep. um, with uh, women who are fully clothed and women in bikinis. And shock horror, they found they found that women in bikinis- Much smarter. 
uh, sadly, no. And the, the argument was that they were thinking potentially more about how they were being observed. Whereas, you know, if you're fully clothed, you can you can uh, think. And so here's me. I'm fighting off a lion. I don't. I don't want to be nude. I want. I want to not be thinking. I see what you're saying. So if you're wearing pants, you'd probably have a good shot at defending yourself. That's true. That's what I'm hearing. That's and, true. And now, now I get it. Now I would. Ma- it would matter to me. <laughs> It's like, can you wait till I put my pants on? Because then I'm going to fucking slap you down, lion. <laughs> yeah, I could take a lion if I'm wearing yeah, pants. Not o- nude. Not nude. You're only human. <laughs> There's a limit. So it seems to be much more men, but it's not exclusively mm. men. Uh, how old is the other question? Okay, so the stereotype moves towards the more mature gentleman. More t- mature gentleman. Yeah, like uh, Lord Palmerston. The British Prime Minister in the mid nineteenth century. He was Prime Minister twice, and famously, famously thought of as Britain's randiest Prime Minister. <laughs> Big call because Boris Johnson has what nine thousand children. He does too. So yeah. maybe he's up there with. If Boris Johnson goes out this way, then I don't know. Brexit will have been worth it. I feel like walking quickly could kill Boris. Though, <laughs> so I mean, sex is bound to. The official story, yeah. and this is very Victorian era is that he died of pneumonia at 82 after catching a chill while riding in his carriage. Oh. But the rumour is um, that he, in fact, died of a heart attack while having sex with his parlour maid on a billiard table, which... That is the way. That if you're 82 and you're like, it's time to go... My parlour maid, not, not a pool table, <laughs> not a snooker table. It's a billiard table. Billiards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's classy. Of the studies that I could find, yeah. it seemed like the average age, and obviously average means that you've got the 82-year-old at that end and there's there's us, seems to be like 59 to 61 sort of thing. Okay. I've done. But what I've learned from this is don't do it near lions <laughs> and don't be a pope. It does skew to the older men, but not exclusively, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. the 27-year-old woman in Pennsylvania oh. who died after being electrocuted from uh, homemade nipple clamps. Of all the things, nipple clamps, not like some deep insertion device, nipple clamps. Homemade though. So what causes it? What causes it? Uh, Well, it seems like a lot of things. Lions, (laughs) electricity, (laughs) angry men, Uh, hearts. So, okay. Fat. Of course, of course, you can guess at the the biggest causes. In a lot of cases, it's it's the physical strain of sexual activity, particularly if you're infirm Mm. or not used to it. Like uh, 82-year-old Cardinal uh, Jean Danielou. Uh, So in 1974, France woke to the news that one of their most respected senior churchmen, a world-leading Catholic theologian, the head of the theological faculty at Paris University and the author of 14 books on sexual morality and the church discipline, had experienced Le Grand Mort. I'm close to having a heart attack myself. Carry on. When he dropped dead on the stairs of a brothel in Clichy, the red light district of Paris. Ah, on the stairs. On the stairs, yes. He was yes. there to admonish them. Well, no, no, he wasn't. No, he, he wasn't. The, the police explained that the cardinal was on his way to offer comfort to a 24-year-old uh, sex worker in an official capacity only. We've all done that. <laughs> I mean, that's just because you care about people. There is literature that very much suggests if you are not getting it very much, um, mm-hmm. get some warm-ups first. Uh, so th- there seems to be a study that um, Gets wh- while there's while there's correlation with with age here in mm. terms of heart attacks and and other things that will kill you during sex, mm. um, they happen more if you're not used to it. A 2011 meta analysis in the Journal of American Metal Association. So this is this is the big journal, mm. and it's a big study. Found that each additional hour of sexual activity per week resulted in an increased two to three uh, myocardial infractions and one sudden cardiac death per, per ten thousand pe- person years. Totaling an hour in a week. Yeah, yeah. I'm proud. An hour <laughs> in a week. So at three minutes of pop, <laughs> they're just using a unit of time. <laughs> That's like twenty times a week. <laughs> No wonder it kills you. <laughs> There's a couple of other things that make it more likely. Yeah. Having sex with a sex worker. Because they're good at it. There was one study that said most cases of the sudden death during sex occurred during the sexual act with a sex worker. Really? So I think it's largely due to that not having sex not so regular. often. And then going to a sex worker. So it could also just be, recognize that. I'm paying for it. I'm going to do more. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it until I have a heart attack. I'm going to maximize my income. Yeah. And my, my interest. So if it doesn't kill me, I want my money back. There's a similar study that says you are more likely to die during sex if you're having an affair. 
Guilt. Guilt will kill you. I don't know if it's guilt or no. maybe trying harder or you. I don't know. I don't know, right? <laughs> I don't know. So We're not like, married. I'm like, going to impress you. Like uh, Felix Foire, president of France at the end of the 19th century. Ah. The story is that his bodyguards heard a scream and broke down the door to find him seated dead on a sofa oh. with his beautiful mistress kneeling in front of him, potentially his hands in her hair. According to some reports, he'd had a cerebral hemorrhage. Ah. And she was in a state of trauma-induced lockjaw, and had to have, oh. and had to have, I, I, it was read as his member, his dick, surgically removed from her mouth. Uh, oh, the French uh, press, obviously, his president. They had a field day. Uh, Felix Foire passed away in good health, indeed, from an excess of good health. Um, uh-huh. It was the Journal of Sexual Medi- Medicine that found men who were unfaithful were significantly more likely. Uh, to experience severe or fatal cardiac arrest during That's sex. That's weird. I, I assume that is because of the, the stress slash thrill of the naughty. I Probably, yeah. Also, as you say, maybe trying harder to be impressive. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds terrible. I want to be impressive. I need to impress my wife. She married me. Mm. That's, I assume, the thinking. But I don't know. The I mistress. Know. It's, it's, it's wild, though. There's a bunch of other things that make it more likely. Obviously, the big one. Viagra. Yeah. Like, I mean, straight away, while Viagra is is, is thought to be pretty safe, mm. the thing that it does increase the risk of is that you're going to go have sex when you're less uh, likely to be having sex otherwise, and then you might die. It's uh, as if things that affect your blood supply could affect things to do with your blood supply. Yeah. There was this weird thing called the, the valva salva manoeuvre. Okay. Uh, you know when you're driving down a big range or you or no, you're in an airplane and you need to pop your ears? Yes. So you close your mouth and then you close your, your nose and then you breathe hard against it and your ears pop. Apparently, if you do that during sex, it can trigger a, a hemorrhage as well. So do you mind if I put my finger on my nose, roll my eyes back and go <laughs> <laughs> You know how it so is. So sexy. <laughs> you know so how it sexy. Is. Obviously, the other stuff that makes you more likely is is doing dumb stuff. Sex on balconies. Um, so in 2000, 2007, the naked bodies of a man and woman were discovered on an empty street in uh, South Carolina. Mm-hmm. Uh, their clothes were later found on the roof of a four-story building or adjacent to the road. Both had died after falling 50 feet from the downtown Columbia building. In yeah. 1999, uh, two Romanians died of carbon monoxide poisoning while having sex in a car which they had parked in a garage with the engine still running. Pay attention to your surroundings a little bit. Lions. Uh, parked car in a garage on a on a rooftop. On a roof. Final lesson of caution. Um, mm. This comes from uh, Elizabeth uh, De La Sobera's paper in Clinical Communications. It's called Thunderclap Headache with Orgasm. A 34-year-old man who had a couple of episodes of having a thunderclap headache every time he orgasmed. Um, oh, Christ. <laughs> what they're suggesting is get some treatment here. If he's in a social circle where you don't really talk about that stuff, he might think that's part of what happens. It's true. It's true. And I'm glad he's it, getting help. You, listener, if you get a thunderclap headache every time you blow, then... Everyone polled in this room doesn't. Yeah, and others probably too. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I've not heard of it being common. <laughs> Look after yourself, listener. Stay safe. Have fun. Um but not on a billiard table, on a rooftop, or near lions. <laughs> <laughs> That's not sex killing you. 